to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different yet again. Um, I've really been enjoying this cleaning video spree and like home style, lifestyle videos I've been posting lately and you guys seem to be enjoying them as well. So I'm really excited to bring this to you today. Um, basically I'm just going to be sharing with you a bunch of tips on how to keep your house clean with young kids. So I had obviously one daughter, you guys all know that I had a, my daughter two years ago and it was, it was pretty easy to keep on top of things, it was easy to keep things clean. Uh, then she started walking and it got obviously a little bit more challenging. Now with a newborn to now four month old and the toddler, it has become like craziness. So I've kind of learned some tips along the way. I want to share them with you guys. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on tips of how to keep your house clean for a normal person, but if you're a mama like me with toddlers and young children, you know it's a whole different game. <laughs> so I just wanted to share some of the things that I've learned with you guys and I hope you enjoy the video. So tip number one would be clean as you go. Now this is something that I've had to learn the hard way over the last couple years. I never was somebody that really cleaned as I went. Um, I mean like as far as cooking or you know you're getting ready in the morning, cleaning up your makeup and hair stuff after yourself. Like I kind of just would get ready in a mad rush and then leave things all over the place and then have to clean it all up in one mass cleanup and it was just like really overwhelming. Um, so now during the day when I make something I clean it up. So if I make something and I use a frying pan, I wash the frying pan right away. I put the dishes into the dishwasher. I just do things to keep the whole day and process moving along nicely so I'm not left with a lot of work at the end of the day. There's nothing worse than cleaning up a huge, huge mess when you've been like running after kids all day. Like you just kind of want to take it easy. So why not incorporate the cleaning into your routine? And I know there's sometimes where you cannot clean something, but I'll wait for my next free moment. And by free, I mean like they're busy or sitting somewhere and they're happy. Um, then I'll go ahead and just clean up that stuff so it doesn't pile up for the end of the day where I have a huge pile of stuff to do and like no energy to do it. The next tip is kind of in the same area as that. Uh, basically don't let your stuff pile up in one place. I know how tempting it is to come in, throw your mail on the counter, throw your bag on the counter, throw a bunch of stuff on the counter, and then the counter becomes a clutter zone. Trust me, I'm still guilty of that now. I'm just trying to keep on top of it. Um, it just becomes crazy when you let things, when I get home with mail and stuff, I like to just go through it. I like to just sift through it, throw out the garbage, keep the stuff that's important, you know, tuck bills away in my little bill book, throw like, flyers in the garbage, open packages, and get rid of the packaging and put the product where I want to put it. That's kind of what I do to keep on top of it. I don't like to let things pile up on the counter. Of course you live with other people, they're gonna put things on the counter, but I just kind of try and be conscious of it. And when I walk by during the day, I just continuously pick things up and put things back where they go. The next tip goes along the same lines, and that is having a place for everything. Now, all these tips, I'm guilty of them as well. Like I'm just constantly learning. These are just tips of things I found work for me. It is still hard for me to implement them as well. So I know it is, it's difficult to do that, but it's very important that you just like take time to organize certain rooms and find places for everything and get rid of stuff that doesn't have a place. So everything that I bring in, I like to have a place for it. I like to just organize it, have a place where I know it goes so that it doesn't stay out on the counter. And if it is on the counter and I find it there, then I'll pick it up and bring it to that place immediately. The next tip I have for you is to have a dedicated play area. I don't have a playroom, I wish I had a playroom, but our basement isn't finished yet, so I just have a little play area in the living room where all of our toys go. I make it super easy that everything just kind of goes there, so as she throws things throughout the day, I just constantly bring them back to that area, and at the end of the night, I can clean up just that little space. It makes a huge difference. Um, if you have a toddler, you know they just pick things up, bring them somewhere, and drop them. Like, I, I was constantly tripping over things, so now when I find those items on the ground, even if I already tripped over them, I'll pick them up, bring them to that area, and then deal with it at the end of the day. Along with that last tip, I have this other tip for you, which is to keep bins. I find it so easy to just have a huge bin. I just got mine at Winners, and I just throw all the toys in it. That's where they all go. There's no specific organization system for them, but they all go there. So, you know, at the beginning of the day, she'll open it, like, or not open it, there's no lid, but she'll just start taking things out, and, you know, it'll all pile up in one place, but it's just easy to throw it all back in there. Then every now and then, I just kind of go through it, um, make sure she's still using the toys that are inside of it, and then put things back in different places if I feel like they go in her bedroom. Um, or if I feel like they go there, I'll kind of like put them where they belong. My next tip is to be selective with what you bring into the house. That goes for your stuff, but especially goes for toy stuff. I know it's so tempting. People are giving things away for free or you buy something used and you just continuously like get things. And I'm really bad for this, but I'm trying to be better. Uh, my husband tells me all the time that I'm not allowed to bring more things in. <laughs> and you know, it does get overwhelming, especially with kids' toys, they grow up, they grow out of things, but then you also wanna keep things for your younger children. So Grace, my older daughter, she played with all of her baby toys, but haven't thrown any of them out because I knew when I had more kids, maybe they'd wanna play with them. So now that Holly's using the toys, 
I've decided that I'm just going to try and get rid of some things that aren't sentimental just to like clear th some things up. I don't know if I'll ever have any more kids, but I'll keep a few key items for myself or things I'd give away to family and just hold on to them for a while. But it's good to just like put those things away and then be selective of what you bring in. You know, it's tempting to say yes to things, especially when they're free. Like you find a toy and you want to amuse your child, so you just keep taking, 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 or buying, 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 and you end up with a lot of stuff in your house. Um, so be very selective with what you bring in. If they don't love it immediately and it doesn't seem to be a hit, get rid of it, give it away, return it, you know. Just try not to let too many things accumulate in your house because too many things means clutter, which means mess, which means chaos in your home. So my next tip is to have a routine. When you get up in the morning, have a set routine of things that you do. So, you know, I get up in the morning, if the dishwasher has been run that night, I kind of run it every two days, but if it's been run that night and it's filled with like clean dishes, I'll empty that first, create breakfast, clean up breakfast, you know, so on and so forth. At the end of the night, I'll like clean up dinner, then I clean up the toys, then I change my pajamas, I go to bed, etc. But I kind of create a clean space for myself. Every single night before I go to bed, I try my best to get the kitchen to be clean. Like I want the kitchen and living room area to always be clean and I just try and accomplish that at night. Same as in the morning, I like to keep on top of things and you know, empty the dishwasher so dishes don't pile up, you know. Put everything in your dishwasher. That's another tip. Use your dishwasher. If you're a mom, I know it's expensive to run a dishwasher, but trust me, it is so worth it so you don't have to be constantly cleaning things. Yes, you have bottles you wanna clean by hand and pans and pots and all of that stuff, but for the little things, for the plates, for the knives and forks, throw them in the dishwasher, make your life a little bit easier. You know, any time-saving things you can do as a mom is so, so, so important, so do that for yourself. My next tip is to close your bedroom door. I know it's so simple, but something that I often forget to do, but it makes a huge difference. When you come in here at the end of the night or even during the day, it's kind of like a sanctuary. You know, you come in, it's still clean. There's not a million toys. If your bedroom's like me and the bathroom door is off of it, then your bathroom's clean as well. It just creates a clean space that's like an adult space that is like a kid-free zone. And that is so, so important. It's nice to have one place you can retreat to that you know will always be clean and clutter-free. My last tip is just to have your kids help. Um, my daughter's two now, and I started to get her to help a little bit. Like I know she's quite young, but if your kids are older, definitely get them to help. Um, what I do for her is, like, say she says, I want ice cream, or I want this, or I want that. I'll say, yes, you can have that, but you need to clean up those toys you just dumped on the floor, or you, know, you need to pick up your dollhouse, put all your stuff back into your dollhouse, or pick up those pillows you threw on the ground. Always kind of give them an incentive to help them learn to clean. Uh, she's quite young, so that's why I offer the incentive, and I kind of like make it like a game. Um, but if your kids are older, just ask them kindly to help, you know, before they go to bed, make it a routine to always clean up before bed and it'll really help you out, you know, it, then at least you're getting the cleaning done while they're still up and then when they go to bed, you have some time to relax with your spouse or by yourself um, and you don't have to worry about cleaning that stuff up. Those are my tips for keeping a clean home with kids. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and let me know down below what you guys would like to see next. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.